What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and today uh, I'm going to go into Red's art gallery right now and pick out a genuine piece of artwork uh, for the museum really, not for me. I never buy this stuff, I never keep this up. Oh, welcome to my gallery, come in and see some art. Oh boy, cousin. When was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you, this week's items are as rare as they come. I'm almost green with envy that I can't buy them all. But remember, we sell only one item per customer, so make your choice very carefully. All right, so let's do this. Guys, I have a website opened up on my other window so I can know what's legit or not. First, we're gonna look at this little piece of artwork. And uh, if it's fake, no, wait, wait, if it has bat wings, it's fake. So, drats. Look at that. Bat wings. Fake. If it's feathery, it's real. Okay, what's this? The Mona Lisa. Everyone knows what Mona Lisa looks like, but I'm still going to check this. If her fingers are pointing to the bottom left corner of the picture, it's fake. Fake! It's a fake, guys! If it's, they're pointing to the right, it's genuine. Where does red get by? You know what I'm saying? Go oh, wrong way. Spin this way. Oh boy, I don't even recognize this painting. The blue boy Thomas Gaines by Thomas Gainsborough. Okay, here we go. If both of his arms are bent at his sides, it's fake. It's fake. Because his uh, right arm should be straight. So that only leaves this painting. I keep rotating the wrong way. Whatever this is. This is, uh, what is this? This one is called... Oh, here we go. Girl with a pearl earring. If her hat's red, it's fake. If it's blue, it's genuine, so that's mine. I want to buy it. Whoa, I see you guys on the wistful paint. They don't even name them. Uh, hold on, I forgot to do a pose. This is probably going to be something that I want to... Um, uh, something I want to... Uh, I don't want it. I want to probably pose with it. You're pulling my leg? What a shame. There's no guarantee you'll get another chance like this. No, sir. So come on, let's pose. Let's let's do this. Come on, Red. If you get in a decent pose with me, this is going to be a great thumbnail. Look at this. Red. Check this out. Red, look at the camera. Never mind. Forget you. I'm buying it anyway. I think I got a good thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to buy this, guys. Uh, as I do, as I make my purchase with Red, I want to thank you guys so much. So, so much. Uh, Animal Crossing number one here on the Zack Scott Games channel. We're over 70 episodes in, and the first episode has over 360,000 views, over 7,000 likes. <sighs> I'm not really tearing up. I was just uh, doing my voice like that on purpose. Okay, I bought the painting. Red's going to mail it to me for whatever reason. I can't walk out of the tent here. Uh, I don't know why. It's just down It's just down the street. I can, I can take a painting uh, from my mailbox and take it over to the museum. Okay, he's still talking to me. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, for whatever reason, he has to mail it to me. I don't understand. I, I could take it from my mail, my post office box, my, my, or my mailbox, all the way to Blathers at the museum. I can carry it there. How come I can't carry it from this tent to my home? Or, even better, this tent straight to Blathers. Or just mail it straight to Blathers. Jeez. Sorry, I'm making myself angry. Did I ever sell those gems? I did. I missed one of them though. And I never looked up what mushrooms do, so oops. Uh, so okay, we got Red's art gallery out of the way. And then now uh, I wanna start a new public works project because uh, I totally, totally, totally forgot to do that last time. Eugene, what is up, douche? <laughs> oh man, I don't like Eugene. Not at all, I'm gonna ignore him completely or until I get the hankering for hitting him over the head again. All right, let's go start a new public works project. There's my face flying high on the flag. Very cool. Now let's see what's up. All right, I guess we'll go up here. I don't think you can have her evict people from a town at all. I don't think that's even a possibility. Hi, Mayor Zach, is there something I can help you with public works projects? You want to work on a public works project. I'm happy to help. What would you like to work on? Start a new project. Sounds good. Here are the current requests from the townspeople. All right. Whoa, modern police station or classic police station? What's the difference? Ooh, 
I think I like the uh, classic look best, to be honest. But I really don't want to. I really don't want a police station right now. Um, uh, Zen bench, yellow bench, water well. What are these things for? Fountain. Another, can I do another fountain? <laughs> uh, park clock, street lamp, fence. Why a fire hydrant? A wind turbine. You know, so I, I did the lighthouse. The lighthouse doesn't do anything. I guess I'll go with a classic police station. I don't even really want a police station in my in my neighborhood. Okay, I won't be able to demolish the police station once it's finished. Let's do it. All right. Now, I kind of want to build it like right when you walk in. I don't care if it's too close to the train tracks. I think that that would be a good place. I know that the uh, it's kind of weird to have the town hall way over here. But I like having all of those features up at the top. I'm going to lock you in the police station, Eugene. I'm not joking. I really would if I could. That would be that would be a dream come true, like literally. How about here? Is this good? Yes, Mayor, is this about where you like to place a classic police station? What do you think? You tell me. It's close to the train tracks. I don't think it's that hard. Okay. All right, let's, how about right here? Is this good? Come on, yes, come on, I do wanna, what do you think? So close to, come on. This is perfect, this is like the perfect place. Ah, whatever, okay. Hmm. What about right here? Is this like too close to the rocks or something? This always sucks. Oh, it's too close to the fountain. Of course, of course. Man. Alright, let's think about this. Alright, come on. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Don't get mad at Isabel. She's just doing her job. Put a police station like right here. That'd be a dumb place. Um, up here is another good idea, but I got I focus on having my whole tree farm here. That that would be a real bummer to put a police station here. I don't even really want a police station. Okay, but you know what? I'm running. Catch me! Catch me if you can. Can I just stick it right here? Probably not. That's probably way too close. Ugh. Can I run behind this coffee shop? Is there room? There is. Man, this is gonna be a hard place, to, cool place to hide. What about right here? I can't think of a better place. Yeah, what do you think? Yes, perfect. Yeah, yeah, remove everything, I don't care. All right, what's it gonna look like? Ha, <laughs> it's just in the corner, that's funny. Uh, let me, uh... Gotta think this over. I want to move it. Hold on. I'm trying to think. Relic, like, is it, are the doors lined up? How about here? Yeah. How about here? Let's try it here. This looks like a better place. What do you think? Please tell me it's good. Okay. Too close to the train tracks. That's okay. I can move down a little bit. Let's. Uh... All right. Come on. Five spaces back, two left, two right. So let me let me let me try to do what she's talking about here. Two left. Oh. Alright, there's one. Two. My cat knocked over my phone. Egon. My cat Egon. Two here. And five spaces. Uh okay, so let's try this. This is just to help me measure. I don't even know if this is gonna work. No, okay. <laughs> sure, try it. I don't think it's gonna work. What do you think? I was trying to dig. So close to the train tracks. I know, right? All right. Shh. Five spaces back. Okay, cool. All right, what about right here? Come on. This looks good, right? This is perfect, right? This has to be. Yes, yes. What do you think? 
Okay, okay, it's not that close to the train tracks, first of all. But okay. Okay. Okay, shh, shut up. You're talking to me too much. Okay, let's, come on, let's go down a little bit. What about here? Come on, Isabel. Come on, we are gonna go. So if we're looking here, that's five spaces back. What about here? Please tell me this is good. What do you think? Honest opinion. It's just so close to something else. Ah. All right. All right, come on. Come on, stop talking to me, please. Okay, what about right here again? How's this? I had it before and now I messed it up. What do you think? Yes, finally. All right, let's see it. Let's see it in action. There we go, that's much better, in fact. I prefer that. Yep, that's good. Classic police station. I think it looks pretty sweet. All right, gonna make the preparations. And then uh, I'm gonna donate it all right now, right here, right now. I'm gonna just pay for this flat out. Sorry for taking so long trying to pick out this spot, but I mean, this is just a... Uh, a really complicated thing, but I think I, I think I got it to how I want it. Let me go ahead and just pay it off right here, right now, with no regards to anything. All right, come on. I'll cooperate. Spend tons of money. There we go. Two hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars for a police station. They're already grabbing my money. All right. Yes, I just financed the police station. Who cares? All right. Do I need any any fruits here? Hey, cat. What's up? I'm gonna go ahead and grab some regular old apples. Because if I want to learn a new joke, then I'm gonna need new apples. But you know, we got a whole slew of things to do, uh, especially involving the Dream Center. As promised, I'm going to a fans. Uh, town via the Dream Center, the Dream Suite. I mean, I uh, I don't know why I call it Center. So we're gonna we're gonna hit it up in the in a very logical order. We're gonna do the Dream first, and I'm gonna make a, you know, do a quick view of the town and the house in general. And I'm gonna just uh, update mine as well. Uh, I think. Let me go ahead and update mine really quick, just so you guys have it, uh, in case you want to connect to to my town. And uh, it's update time right now. I'm grateful for your cooperation. Hmm, understood. Then please wait just a moment whilst I get everything ready. All right, so she's gonna do this. I'm gonna give you a hint uh, as to whose dream town I'm visiting. Seems to be a male based on the name alone. Uh, there are there are some summer things to do there when I get there. All right, I'll turn your memories into data. Okay, come on, I know, lie on the couch, I know. Let's update the dream. Update. This is like Inception right here. Creating a new world right now. I'm an architect. Let's op open. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm connect. Come on. This part's always so long. I hate it. I don't hate it that much though. All right. So okay. Now, any stats on this? Come on. 1,073 of you have experienced a dream about Astoria, so thank you guys so much. That is awesome. Uh, I'm, oh, before I forget, and as a thanks, we'd like to give you 5,000 bells. What? That is insane. What a cool way to make money. Now let's go visit another dream and uh, show me a dream. And I might, I might go through this town relatively quick. Um... Go ahead and connect to the internet. Do everything that you need to do for me. Wow, I really depleted my my cash by fully financing that police station. <laughs> right, you know, like right, uh, right after I. Okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Right after I completed another project, I fully financed the police station. I'm awesome. Uh, let's. I I want to input a dream address. I do know. And uh, let's see. Let's start off. It starts with a five. Could it be yours? Let's make it an even 5,000. Now, could it be yours? Two. 
two, seven, six. And again, six, five, eight, six. This is Dave Jackson's town. We're gonna go visit it, Dave. Thanks so much for posting. You say that you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, 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 your town is at sunset time for some variety. You dropped a sparkler and a Roman candle for some summer fun. If you stop by, uh, at least the town of Ice Jam, sounds awesome. And also uh, a few pro designs for taking if they interest you, me, rather. So we're gonna go check out uh, what was this called again? Ice something or other? I forget already. <laughs> I forget what it said. Oh, man. Uh, it'll probably tell me again. No need to keep that data from me for too long. Now, I'm going to turn down the lights. Ah, one sheep. Two sheep. Three. Three what? Three what? Cats? Dogs? Frogs? Turtles? Bugs? Bells? Whistles? I'll never know. Okay, well here we go. Loading into Ice Age or whatever the heck it was called. I totally forget. Let's see. Welcome to the world of dreams. Right now you are having a dream of a sleepy town called Ice Jam. There we go. When you want to return to the real world, the world of stress, please lie down on this bed once more. Mm, I hope you have the most amazing time here in the dreamy world of Ice Jam. So, pick up a couple things to have fun with, I guess. I have not used these before. Time for the summer fun. They're fireworks. Oh, that's not how it works. All right, so I've never ever seen anything like this before, so I'm really curious. Let's hold a Roman candle. Now what? <laughs> okay, come on. Stop it. Is that all it does? Great. Itchy. Oh, I got bit by a mosquito in your town, Dave Jackson. Ugh. All right, let's check out his dream. It's kind of the inverse of what I've seen before. I really don't know how he has a... Uh... Oh, look at this guy. It's like a mean-looking rabbit. Gaston. Hey, you're not from around here, right? Well, I hope you take it easy while you're here. Mon Choi or whatever. Okay, so where is the guy selling all the artwork? Look, it's a duck. What is this? That's like flowers. It's Drake the Duck. Nice to meet you. Are you here visiting? Well, welcome to Ice Jam. I hope you have a great time here, Sabuna. What in the world is, are they saying, Dave? Jackson. There he is. He has some pro designs. Wendell, what? I've met you in a dream before. You're a pretty big fan of the dream world, huh? If you like the dreams in this town, why not take one of the drawings I copied for your designs? How about it? We take a drawing home? Okay, sure. Let's try it. Let's just look at it. He's got a few pro designs. Pro designs, I think. Save where? This green. Next. Whoa, wicked. He has got like some Dragon Ball. Robin, Incredibles. Uh, looks like maybe that's a Power Ranger. I can't tell. Um, what is this, though? Let's see. Pro. I could be Robin. Or, like, the Incredible. I like a oh, tie. Oh, Cyan. Oh, Dragon Ball. Sorry. Ash. Trunks. Incredibles. Let's take the Incredibles. I did. That's just grand. Um, thing is, this is just an image I copied. The original creator is someone from this town. So be considerate of their feelings and don't go changing the picture. Okay, if you want to have another look, just let me know. Great. Well, can I just wear it right now? Can I wear... Can I go ahead and wear that design here? Oh, yeah. The Incredibles. I'm in my sleepy jam jams wearing the uh, Inc Incredibles merchandise. Let's go check out his house. I got a fountain. I've at least made th a lot uh, similar pro uh, progress here. Whoa, that's a nice freaking house, though. Wow. All right, let's go in. Let's go in, my friends. Knock, knock on the door. Better watch out. Here I am. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh wow, it's like a Lisa Frank album in here. Oh, wow. Let's go down to the basement. That was pretty fantastic. Oh, my goodness. 
I like all this stuff. He's got a record player. Very sweet. Oh, cool. He has, like, what is that? Like, a, some sort of bed sheets or something right there. This looks pretty cool. This is pretty cool for a basement, my friend. Let's go up another notch, another level. And let's see what is up here. Ooh, very classy. It's like a classy game room of sorts. I think this looks pretty freaking fantastic. Very cool. I really like the modern look. Oh, I like the, the talk show wall or whatever. It looks like a talk show wall. And this is really cool. This is this. I, I will eventually have a game room too. Just give me this. Is, you went like classy style. I'll probably go with like a little more party style. I don't know. It depends on what I see. I do like it. So thank you, Dave Jackson, for letting me take a quick tour of your town. I'm going to head back now. This is. What was it? Ice pit? Ice patch? Is this him? David, I have to protect the future. <laughs> All right. Totally forget this ice pit, ice bomb, ice pad. Um, I don't know. I don't remember anymore. But okay, let's go over here. Gonna get in here. Oh my! Are you ready to wake up? Wake me up! 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 Enclosure! Ah! 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 Doing a little remix. I'm wearing the Incredibles. The incredible edible shirt. Not really. Okay. So, what else is on my agenda for today? Well, obviously, I gotta I gotta tell the joke next door. I gotta look at the home stuff to see if there's any cool looking astro like things I can get. Come on. Mmm. Happy awakenings. I want a happy ending. Did you sleep well? I feel refreshed. I'm so glad to hear that. Feel free to come back anytime you desire sweet dreams. So yeah, I have upgraded my uh, my dream town as you saw, and so now you should be able to get my Zach Scott Games things thing, the custom pro design that Ashley made. Thank you for dreaming with us. Feel free to return whenever you are weary and need rest. That's like right now. I want to go to sleep right now. All right, let's tell this guy down here a joke, assuming that he'll let me in. To I'll listen to one of his jokes if I learn it. Whatever. Ugh. What's up, Shrunk? Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you? Uh, is there something you needed? I have a, a snack. I thought that said smack for a second. Like I don't want to give him a smack. Let's give you just this regular old apple. Confirm. You can have it. It's an apple. It's a perfect apple. In in fact. Yum! Now it's time to repay the favor and tell me about a new joke that you have or have been working on or what. Alright, a really good joke. That sounds even better than I was anticipating. I thought it was going to be an average, mediocre joke, as they always are, but this one's supposed to be really good, so let's see. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My sorrow joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. So, people often say that they bawled their head off at the movie theater. Ever hear this? But bawling means you cry while shouting out loud, right? I've never seen a person cry and scream at the movies before. They're weeping, which you can do quietly. You can also quietly sob while sniffling a lot. There's also that type of sobbing where the words get stuck in your throat, but you can't stop talking. But it would be kind of awkward to say you wept at the movies. Why not just say you cried a lot? Huh? What's with the I don't care face? Come on now, give me some kind of reaction. It's no fun being being ignored. Wah. Oh boy. As jokes, these are not funny. <laughs> so yeah, what do you think? Oh, yeah, that is a great joke, man. That is a good sorrow joke. I cannot wait to add that to my freaking... Okay, here we go. Sorrow, guys. Here we are. Gonna keep this one going. <laughs> All right, we're done. Thank gosh, because man, that was cray. <laughs> All right, that was a great joke. Nooks Holmes, what are you offering today? I'm very curious to see what kind of, uh, you know, specialty items you might be selling. 
All right, welcome, welcome. What is this? Is this like a robot one? Stainless mailbox. I mean, not bad. Uh, no thanks, though. Uh, I'll keep looking on my own. Yes, yeah, still plenty to look at. What is this? Yellow roof. I don't need a yellow roof. Then Spin Town will be able to see it. I see. No worries, no worries. Still plenty left to look at, hmm? Alright, let's get out of here. Nothing I want, really. Sorry to waste your time, Tom Nook, but I'm gonna go see your sons now. Or nephews, or whatever. I forget the relationship, the familial relationship that you share with these people. But I'm gonna go to Super TNT Mart. Then we're gonna go to the accessory shop. We're just gonna have all around fun. I'm gonna at least buy the cookies. Welcome, welcome. We have a time special going. Oh, yes! I mean, these things are cheap. A freaking rocket! Very cool. I will take it. Yes. That's definitely gonna go to the museum. I gotta, I gotta start that soon. Alright, now let's take our chances on the remaining uh, uh, Nintendo items via the fortune cookies. Yes, please. Alright. Yep, let's buy this one too. All right, perfect, perfect. Come on now. Eat. Nom, 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 the cookie monster. All right, there was a fortune inside. Let's see, sometimes that which protects you, okay, must also fight for you as well. I just received that, I believe, uh, a couple days ago. What does this one say? The land is in great peril, and soon you'll be the hero of a story. Number three. I think I have these. Let's go ahead and trade them in, though, just for giggles. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Uh, come on. Let's do this. I got two lucky tickets. I wish I could do them both at once, but that's okay. So the first lucky ticket is fortune number three. Oh, my cat just fell off my chair. Okay, here we go. Congratulations, a hero's clothes. I'm wearing them right now. So, I think. Or not, I mean, not right now, but I had them. Is it, what, is it different than a tunic? What's the hero's clothes? Hold on. Tunic is the hat, right? Who knows? Let me just put on the military uniform again. All right, now let's trade in this other one just because I want to know what it is. Although I know I've I had it very recently, in fact. I got a lucky ticket. Here we go. Boo, yeah, number 31. Whatever that means, I don't know. Whoops, I just unplugged my phone. Egon's sitting on my phone. I tried to grab my phone. Uh, okay, here we go. Number 31. Congratulations. Triple red shell. I just got those like yesterday, I swear. Ugh. Okay, well, we're done with this store. I'm out. Ugh, I'm out as quickly as I can be. All right, so, what else do we got to do? Well, let's run by here. Able sisters, I don't really want to go into leaves today. I have like a surplus of axes right now. Hey, Cat's here, doing some shopping. All right, Handmaid Fashion Palace, understood. Nothing here. What kind of accessories though? Right now I already look awesome wearing a Band-Aid on my face. A oh, whoa, whoa, Wario and a Mario. I don't know, I don't remember if I have the Mario hat. Is that the gas, is this the same gas mask I just got the other day? All right, I have that, so no. Never mind. I don't remember if I have the Mario hat, but I know I have the Wario hat. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Big Bros hat, sure, good choice, good choice, good choice. Sounds good, I'll take it, what a deal. All right, thank you, you're welcome. Let me wear this really quick. Yeah! All right, I don't really want the, uh, whatever that is. Please come again. I will. I'll be right there next time. This time. In the future. 
All right. And I don't need to go in kicks because, you know, I always do that. And I never really enjoy it there. But, guys, thanks so much for watching me play Animal Crossing New Leaf. I just fully funded the police department that should be here tomorrow. Again, leave a comment below if you want me to visit your dream world. Tell me, leave a good explanation as to why. Why is it worth my while to visit the dream world? Just let me know. I'll go visit it. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.